word over time. Oh, gee, baby. Now, you're going to brush your hair. Uh-huh. Right? Mm -hmm. This is, you know, Guy Benson lost a bet with our so, beloved live co-host, Greg Gutfeld. So not oh, totally a bet. So can I explain? Yes, please. All right. So I think it's no secret to anyone on this couch that I have not been a great fan of Donald Trump over right. the last I think couple of say years. Greg right? Gutfeld. So no, no, Greg. <laughs> Greg's great. We love so Greg. What are you I about? did the Year in Review show on the Greg Gutfeld show, uh, December 31st, on Fox News, just across the studio here, in fact. Oh. And I made the comment and the promise on the air mm -hmm. that if Donald Trump picked a young constitutionalist judge to the Supreme Court that I would wear oh, a yeah, Make a America picture. Great Again oh, hat okay. as a thank you to the <laughs> president. And so with Neil Gorsuch, who is basically the gold standard, I couldn't ask for anyone better, 49 years of age, <laughs> rock solid constitutionalist and originalist, President Trump has fulfilled <laughs> his promise and therefore I will fulfill mine. There you go. <sighs> Woohoo! Nice. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you, Mr. Again. President. You did it. You kept your promise. This was an excellent pick. I couldn't be any happier. And therefore, I'm a man of my word as well. And nice. it's making my ear stick out a little bit. I mean, you look like you're like <laughs> nine years old. Like, all right, let's go I play some baseball, guys. <laughs> I, did, maybe. I don't know. That's hilarious. Is, I yes, put you in my story on my Instagram page. Oh, no. Oh my yeah, so it went out live, and so, I mean, I don't know what that will do for yeah, you. The, the Trump people are going to love this. Yeah. Enjoy it while you can. Yeah. yeah. I, think th I think that Greg was trying to keep you out of the bars, because if this hat on, nobody would serve you. You look 19. I have an ID on me, though. Yeah. I don't know that it would gosh, help, because you don't look anything like yourself. And we're watching it on the delay. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. there are quite a few people on the live chat. People are probably, it, people people are probably well, I'm going to so wear it for the duration of OT. I think that we need to work on, like, the brim. It's, yeah. it's, it's not flat and it's not curved, so we yeah. need to decide the, which way you're going with it. I don't want to mess with it too badly, because this is a loner. I did not purchase this. I will, Wait. I will uh, concede you later. You know the flat bill is in these days. The hat that you're wearing lost in a bet? Like, you couldn't even, like, get your own hat? Well, this, so I needed one sort of, I scrambled. Because the, the Gorsuch pick was made two nights ago, and right. I knew I had to make good on the bet or the promise either uh, yesterday or today. And so uh -huh. I called up one of my friends who's a much bigger Trump fan than I am. You think? So, yeah, thank you, Lucian, uh, for the Aww. hat. And I said I would take good care of it. So I'm not going to okay. bend, not not would bend, bend it and yeah. do all that. All right. I always um, found it amazing during the election when I would see men in their suits on the train coming in from like. Yeah. Wherever I yeah, come I in from, <laughs> and wearing the Make America Great Again hat. It's all over Arizona. I mean, except it, I saw yeah. a lot of more camo ones with Make America Great, like with the orange yeah. and the camo, but all over Arizona when I went home. And it's like yeah. you're just asking for people to make comments, yeah. whether they're supporters yeah. or not. But I mean, you have to be ready to engage in conversation with it's a lot of strangers. Subtle. This is not a subtle <laughs> yeah. piece of clothing, right? Yeah. This is like in your face, bright red. But I give it up to anybody who's walking around Manhattan yeah. with that hat on because clearly you don't care right. yeah. what people are going to think. Right. And I just know is pepper sprayed if you're in Berkeley. Yeah, but yeah if can you're we a, talk about uh, that hat for yeah. just a second? Now, her said Bitcoin on it. It did? She's a Trump supporter, though. She, yeah, so, but I, I just it. want to make it clear that her hat said make Bitcoin great again, right? Isn't that the truth? Did it? I didn't I don't know. see that. I, I mean, if you look at America the video no and you idea. kind of blow it up, I know that there was I'm some game. contention about this on social media, and I need to drill down with, like, you know, we our can put fancy, in that dancy brain room stuff here with a video here. Guy, but, we have but a it's, great idea. What's that? Go, like, wander outside the window right there and just wear and that see hat. see if anybody stops because you. Because we could catch, see, we could see, even if you were behind yeah, me. Yeah, just go behind oh. us. You want to? It's kind of cool. Look, he's like, please. I mean, this legitimately, really. it's an unkind place yeah. in this city. I, I don't know if I'd said <laughs> it out loud. She is a Trump know what you were saying. No matter what the hat says, she is a Trump supporter. She is a Trump. The woman who got pepper sprayed is a big Trump supporter. I could have hit her and I, by the way. Her, I mean, cousin this is put out a, her cousin put out a statement on Facebook with the both of them. He said that he's a libertarian, but he still wanted to go with her to support her. And he, the, it's really powerful. You should read it. And he said, like, the faces of the masked people coming after them for having different political beliefs. I have to say, last night, Guy and I were both up tweeting each other in the middle of the night about this. And I'm so deeply disheartened by people on the left as well. I have been panicked. I have broken out in hives, specifically over the Iran deal oh uh, with President Obama. I take things very deeply. I take our national security very, very personally, and I think it's something all Americans should be aware of. The panic and hysteria that's happening right now, I really do feel it's unwarranted, and you don't get to have eight years of Obama and then a tone shift, which America clearly wanted, and then go out and riot and burn well, your school down. And, and the point that I would make, 
to piggyback on that is a lot of the stuff that President Obama started doing very immediately in his term was deeply distressing to people who yes. believe the things that we believe, right? Yes. And what did the Tea Party do, right? They showed up in huge numbers with signs and protests, overwhelmingly peaceful. They would pick up their garbage afterwards and go home back mm -hmm. to their jobs and to their families. If there had ever been anything remotely close to this type of conduct and behavior, criminal violence from the Tea Party, the freak out nationally in the media would have mm -hmm. been epic. Can, but the left does this sort of stuff all the time and they've got just a separate set of rules. Can I go back to two, what was at the bottom of that protest? I mean, because you look at it, I mean, I think other people look at it quickly and they think it has to do with Trump. And when the protest was about someone coming to campus to express an alternate point of view. And like you said, as a college, you don't bring like-minded people to the campus to speak in front of the kids and be an echo chamber and reflect back on them what they already believe. As an educational center, you bring the opposite yeah, to the center yeah. of one the thing campus. I will say is this has been an issue for a long time, and I've talked about this with Harris on the couch before. I used to do college tours all the time because I've written books and always found audiences at colleges. So I thought because they were young and I was young at the time to be uh, somewhat a good place to go. I haven't done it in years. I had an extremely horrible experience at Reed College and I said no more. Life mm -hmm. is too short. These millennials, and I'm a millennial too, but they're too young and immature to handle a conservative coming on their campus. It is a vitriolic environment. I wouldn't tell anyone to go make a speech on college campuses. But we have to. You, you have, have, about you about you have people saying. like Jerry Seinfeld, comedians, mm -hmm. saying they don't want to perform their stand-up because people are too sensitive. It's not just politics. It's a yeah. sensitivity yeah. problem it's in sensitivity. general. But you know what's really disturbing about what you're saying? You know, some of these people are at the age where they're going to fight wars for us. Mm. Uh, and if you're saying that they can't negotiate their feelings around an opposite point of view, oh. how are they going to negotiate freedom out for those who join the military? I mean, that age group, I, I, there are people who are doing important things at that age. It's particularly sad that on some college campuses, that's what we're finding. DW Block says on our live chat, our millennials are competing to see who is more radical. Like they, they, I think this so. This is a hot issue right, right now on the live chat. Can't be each other more. Certain college campuses, though, we also have to keep in mind there's a lot of incredible men and women yeah, serving some. in the military, Absolutely. serving in different schools. And yeah. I did have some good experiences, but I will say it was overwhelmingly bad. And I had to have to come to Jesus, where I do think people should be going out and speaking. But in these times, I didn't feel safe doing it. So and I don't want to. That's the irony. I, these are the yeah, same people the screaming irony. about safe spaces, and then they're burning things yeah. to the ground. It's it is physically. Unsafe. And they're also not radical at all. They're the same. I mean, that's the problem. They don't want radical thought against what they're thinking. They want everyone to say the exact same thing and walk in lockstep. And if you dare feel the opposite of how they feel, you're in physical danger. It's, I mean, and the other thing that's is fascism. That, I, and I, I alluded to this exactly. on the show. Exactly. Exactly. No, it literally is. Yeah. And, that's, and yeah. yet they use that F word all the time. Well, maybe they don't know what it means. I think they maybe don't somebody needs to tell them what that longer F ignorance. word is. I know they know what the shorter one is. But Mark, can, can Walsh, I just make one quick oh, point? Please. Go ahead. Milo, the guy that they were rioting yeah. against, I'm not a big fan of his. Okay? I'm not like, either. I'm really not. But A, I'll defend his free speech rights every day of the week. And B, again, it's so stupid. If you want to help Milo and what he's doing, yeah. do exactly what you've done. If yeah. you want to help Donald Trump get reelected, keep doing this nonsense. When I was at Columbia, Akhmanijad sure. came to speak. And the yeah. body didn't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. But having a conservative come to your college campus, and Milo, I would probably describe him more all right than conservative. Oh, well, remember right. in Jersey, Absolutely. in Bergen County, where I live, Muammar Gaddafi used to hang out. Yeah. I mean, I, I, come yeah. on. All right, real quickly. Uh, Mark Walton writes, and Facebook is on fire right now. I <laughs> love it. Thanks for watching us. The OCI uh, that wasn't very protesting committed. in Berkeley. It was rioting. Yes. Yeah. Do we need to get to a point where we can talk about the difference? Because when you show yes. up and you're not carrying pepper spray and you're not threatening people, that is a protest. I would say and the that is protest. was a protest. No one yes. got arrested. Nothing was lit on fire. There was yep. no yeah. violence to my knowledge. Pepper I didn't spray agree to the with face it. Yeah, that's a riot. But when you're you're lighting things on fire, I mean, that's true. I, I thought the same thing. I was in D.C. for the Women's March, and I mean, people put a lot of effort into it. Uh, they had a lot of costumes, signs, the whole thing. They were organized. They knew what they were going to say. That's a huge difference. I mean, that. I mean, I was like, I may or may not agree with. I agree with some of the things you're saying. I disagree with others. But I really respect that you mm -hmm. all came out in an organized fashion. You got together and you're talking about your issues and you want to make a difference. This is not that. I mean, this so is just I'm. It's criminal. I'm asking criminal. on the live chat right now. Where were the police in that? Yeah.
yeah. protests turned riot. And, the, and yeah. people make the point the rest of Berkeley looks terrible, too. It's not just the campus. It's the wow. whole city got destroyed. Guy, good luck yeah. with that hat. Yes. Have fun. <laughs> we'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. 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 You're still wearing